President and CIA Senator James Orengo tonight has criticized Land's Cabinet Secretary Charity Ngilu, accusing her of engaging in diversionary tactics on land grabbing at the coast. Now, he was reacting to Ngilu's claims yesterday that he was responsible for dishing out over 70% of land in Lamu County. Now, as Patrick Amimo reports, the Jubilee Coalition and the opposition have quickly jumped onto this new controversy, taking on each other with accusations and demands for answers. The former Lands Minister James Orengo got the support of his ODM family as he reacted to Lands Cabinet Secretary Charity Ngilu's statement over the alleged grabbing of Lamu land. Ngilu wants Orengo to tell Kenyans how an alleged 500,000 acres of land was grabbed in Lamu under his watch. <laughs> Speaking in Dolo dialect, code leader Raila Odinga said Orengo was clean. James Orengo also defended himself against the accusations. And I'm telling the land commission that Orengo is prepared to work with you. And if you need me any time, I'm prepared. And to give you all the facts. Not about one land, but every piece of land in Kenya. Because land grabbing started in 1902. So you cannot talk about land problems of the coalition government without mentioning Kibaki. To Madame Gilu, stop seeking political relevance through cheap politics and backstabbing and blackmailing. The ODM lawmakers said the executive was usurping the roles and mandate of the National Land Commission. They argued the president does not have power to revoke title deeds. You should remove the power, the power of giving out title deeds, the power of alienating land, the power of managing those public land and private, and give all this to the National Land Commission. Uhuru and Ngilu have no role at all in terms of managing land. If 22 people have taken 70% of the land in Lamu, there are only two people who has more than 70% of the land in Taita Tabeta, and Uru is one of them. So Uru should go and revoke his title in Taita Tabeta Kwanza. Kabla haja revoke title ya wimi. The truth, justice and reconciliation report is where the answer lies. And Uru knows where that problem is. The MP spoke at a window village, Karachonyo constituency in Homa Bay County during the burial of former Karachonyo MP and Minister for Planning, Dr. Adu Awiti. Code leader Raila Odinga saluted the late Awiti for his role in the struggle for a second liberation and reddening of democratic space in Kenya. Patrick Amimo, KTN.